This is our universal drum rotator. It's been designed to handle a wide range of drums, both steel, plastic and fibreboard. The rotator head at the front is adjustable, so it can adjust to different diameters of drum and also different heights of drum. The arms at the side here, they slide inwards and outwards, so we can take the arm, slide it inwards, we can then adjust the band to a smaller diameter. We've got a Mauser drum here, 220 litres, so what we're going to do is bring the unit forwards, connect the band and tip into this vessel. So first we'll take the unit, I'm going to bring it forwards. The band's now gone around the drum. Our first securing method is this ratchet strap, so I'm going to bring this around and connect it to the front. And we'll show you this in more detail, but I'm going to do up the ratchet strap. That's held the drum around the belly, and now we have a rim clamp here, which secures to the top lip of the drum. What this does is when you invert the drum upside down, it stops the drum from slipping, particularly these plastic drums are very slippy, and it's good to have a second method of securing the drum in place. So I'm happy that's tight and ready to tip. I've turned my panel on by turning the key to the on position. I'm now going to press the lift button to lift the load. We're now at full lift height. I'm going to move the unit forward just so the drum is just touching against the side of the vessel or thereabouts. That's perfect. We now have a gearbox on the side here. Now it's a self-locking gearbox, so whenever I stop turning the handle, the drum will stop rotating and stay in position. So it's very controllable and you can tip it at a slow rate if needed. I'm going to take the handle and begin tipping. If needed, you can just push the unit forward slightly, just so you can tip right into the middle of the vessel. And bring the drum back up right again. In this example, we've shown tipping into this vessel, which is about 1.3 metres high. We also do telescopic models, so it can have two sets of mass and tip up to 2.6 metres. We can also do a power rotation model, so we can have an electric motor on the gearbox, and you can simply tip the drum by turning a dial on the back control panel here. We're now going to lower the drum down, and we'll show you the band and how to connect a band around the drum. This video is showing how to connect the universal drum band to a steel drum or any other drum. First of all, we've passed our ratchet strap around the front of the drum and hooked it onto the other side of the band. We then take the strap through the ratchet, taking the loose end and pulling it towards us. This takes out any slack and ensures the band is as tight as it can be manually. We then take the ratchet and tighten it up around the drum. It needs to be tight, it needs to be snug, but it doesn't need to be over tight. Once done, pull this clip and store the ratchet in the closed position. The second step is to attach our rim clamp. We put this against the drum, take the top hook over the top lip of the drum, and then we tighten down this wing nut.
Once tightened, this will support the drum, and should this band move at all or slip against a slippery-sided plastic drum, the rim clamp will keep the drum in position. This is the universal band. To take a drum out of it, we loosen off the top rim clamp by undoing this ring nut. We then take the top section off so the rim clamp is clear from the drum. We then take the loose handle, hold on to this, pull this lever to position the ratchet out and pull it all the way around until it clicks. When it clicks, the strap will be loose and you see that loose strap, we can then disconnect it from the other side of the band and because it's loose we can bring it around and remove the drum. Looking again at our universal drum band, this band's adjustable for different drum diameters. At the moment it's set up for a drum of 580 millimetres in diameter, but we can reduce this down to 350 millimetres. To adjust the band diameter, the arms are sliding, so I can pull the arm towards the other one, and I can also push this left arm towards the centre. We then need to take out some of these plates, and we do this by holding in the centre and removing these two pins. We then take one band in one hand, one band in another, and pull them apart. We bring them across and slot it into the next set of holes. We then take our pin, refit it in the two holes here, and we then have the band with a smaller diameter. You can see this section of band is at the back. And there's other holes here, so we can adjust the band at a variety of di diameters depending on the drum we plan to tip. You can see now if I pull in this smaller drum, this drum's empty just for an example, you can see that this smaller diameter, the drum is on the centre line of the gearbox and we can then attach it with a ratchet as shown in the previous part of the video. We now have a red open top drum secured into the head. Now this rotator head is adjustable. It's adjustable from 350 millimetres diameter drums up to 600 millimetre diameter drums. This generally means it can handle 50 litre up to 220 litre drums, again steel or plastic or fibreboard. Steel drums can be found in ATEX areas where there's a risk of fire explosion. And therefore, if you need an ATEX certified unit, we can offer an ATEX pneumatic hydraulic model that would be powered by air and have an airline connection in the side of a control panel. Also, for food or pharmaceutical areas, we can offer a stainless steel model 304 grade. So, we've got the drum secured in. We're going to lift it up. We'll begin to move it forwards. Again, we just bring it up just so it's close to the vessel. That's about right. Again, we've got our gearbox handle here, but we could have power rotation, or if you had a taller lift option, you could have steps leading up to it or near a mezzanine deck. Turning the handle, keeping one hand on the stacker so we can move it forward or backwards if needed. We're just going to move the stacker forward slightly and then we'll continue tipping. Once empty, we return it to a vertical again. The gearbox ratio here is 120 watt to 1. This means it's easy to turn, 
even with a drum which weighs 350 kilos when fully loaded. We'll now show you a close-up of a control panel and how that operates. When we first use the equipment, we have a power key here. The power key is removable. Place the power key into the machine and turn it to the on position. You'll then see the battery condition meter lights up and you can see we have full charge in the battery. It's important that the battery is maintained in a charged state and when not in use, the unit should be kept in a charged state. In the centre, we have an emergency stop button. Press this down firmly and this will cut all power to the unit. To reset, simply pull upwards. In the centre here, we have our lift button labelled up and our lower button labelled down. Simply press the button to raise the load and press the down button to lower it. To charge the unit, there's a charging port on the side of the control box.